Hi, I'm Raymond Pilelis. I am the head coach and owner of Chicago Multisport. Uh, I've been a professional trainer and therapist for 20 years. I've run over 20 marathons. I'm a nine-time Ironman. And in 2011, I ran the Grand Canyon Rim to Rim to Rim in one day. Uh, I was nominated for Athlete of the Year here in Chicago. So I've got some running experience behind me. And I'm here today to uh, talk to everybody about run mechanics uh, for the amateur runner as well as the pro. Uh, we're happy to make uh, the trainer's gym here our home. We've been here for 15 years and we uh, continue to do so. And uh, I'd also like to uh, thank uh, CWX for uh, outfitting us here. We use the compression uh, materials on both the upper and lower half uh, for not only recovery but for performance. Uh, so uh, we'd like to thank them. I'm going to be showing you three drills today that we do with our amateur runners, in particular to develop good form, good strength, and good leg turnover. We're going to be using rubber bands, uh, the treadmill, and then some dumbbells. And all three of these can be done on your own at home or in the gym. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to begin by demonstrating the first of three exercises that we like to do to correct running form. And uh, form is probably the biggest problem with most amateur as well as pro runners. And uh, we're going to use a simple rubber band to uh, do that. Runners uh, typically have uh, bad mechanics starting at the waist. They lean forward from the uh, waist rather than lean from the ankles. So when we put a rubber band around them, we teach them to lean from their center of gravity. Center of gravity in the body is usually about two to three inches below the navel, so that's where we're going to put the rubber band. And I'm having everyone lean, and we call the downhill ski position. So from a side view, you'll see I'm leaning, uh, and I'm in a straight line from my head down to about my tailbone, and I'm doing the downhill ski position. Once we have that established, then we add the arms in. A big error that uh, amateur runners and pros is they crisscross their arms. So we teach them to go straight away. It's a controlled fall when you run. And we're trying to teach that straightaway movement rather than a lot of lateral movement. So this uh, encourages lateral movement. This does not. This corrects it. Our cue is to elbow the guy behind you. And again, from a side view, you're going to see me elbowing the guy backwards and I'm keeping my fists high. So we've got to lean forward from the center of gravity. I'm leaning from my ankles. I'm in a straight line. I get lined up with my arms. And then you break into a run. So I'm getting the knees up in front of me. And we're just trying to establish the athlete to get a feel for pulling his sleigh behind me through the rubber band. And I've got my elbows high, and I've got the knees high. So I'm driving off the balls of my feet, and it's a controlled fall forward in a stationary position. Once the athlete can get a good feel for it, then we'll have him speed up and develop good motor patterning. And we're driving straight away. We're preventing any of this from happening side to side crisscrossing with the arms, and a lot of wasted energy. Running is all about energy conservation, so we're trying to teach that by doing straight away. Then we can take it to the treadmill and we can work on uh, long leg turnover and uh, strength. 